Halloween is in less than three weeks already, and this year I wanted to add something a little bit different to my home haunt. I wanted to get one of those really big, impressive costumes to scare the trick-or-treaters and the parents. And if you look at the label on the side right here, I picked something up from a website called The Horror Dome. And this is one of their night terror costumes called The Caretaker. So let's rip this sucker open and check this costume out. Included in this package, we have got the big, long, black trench coat. We have got two of the caretaker hands and then the giant caretaker mask. Now, first of all, with these hands, these are not gloves. These are hand extenders. So what you do is hold on to wooden dowels and they just give you a bit of extra reach when you have the costume on. Works that way for both of them. So you're not actually gonna have use of your hands when this costume is being worn. But yeah, it just adds for the creep factor. And then the mask. Now the mask, this adds about a foot to your height. So I'm 5'8", I'm not a big guy, so this will make me seem like I'm around 6 foot 8 roughly. And clearly you do not look anywhere throughout the mask. The place you see out of this, actually it seems like these are cut kind of really high. Because it seems like the place where you're supposed to look out is being blocked by the chin. You've got these two cuts in the neck that are covered with a bit of mesh. And it actually kind of blends in with this little ascot that he's wearing, or bow tie. So, but it seems like they weren't cut too high. I'm gonna have to try this on and make sure I can actually see out of it. But the skull for the caretaker honestly looks really great. It's a nice, sturdy, thick pole. It is hollow, so it can be squished. But the, uh, the sculpting and the paintwork on the teeth looks really great. It's got depth to the mouth. The eyes are, they've got those white cataract looking eyes, really creepy. And then they've got a top hat on here with some interesting mesh texture sculpted into it so that looks great and then all the creepy old gnarly hair on the sides so down at the bottom your head would rest right in here and then these uh foam pieces would support on your shoulders it seems like this is going to be really easy to uh kind of knock back and forth when you're moving around at night so yeah i'm really going to try this thing on and see how this is going to work so let's do that really quick Okay, now that I've got this thing on, I hope my voice isn't too muffled wearing this, but um, as you can see, kind of, this is where my eye section is right here. It actually is really hard to see through, and there is also a chin strap holding it in place, but the um, supports for your shoulders, they don't really seem like they support too much. It kind of is a little bit top-heavy and causes the mask to shift forward a little bit, and it seems like this part of the mask wants to kind of, how do I say this, scrunch up on the right hand side. Like if I pull it down like this, this I can see pretty well. But when I let it go, this side scrunches up and I start to lose my vision in the right hand side. And also it seems like the mask is really tilting to the right. So it is a little rough to see out of. I don't know if there's something I can do. Maybe I'm gonna have to cut this down a little bit farther on this side and add in a little bit more mesh. But yeah, so. It is really hard to see. When you turn your head, it kind of wobbles around and takes away your vision. And if you tilt your head back, it shifts backwards. And if you tilt your head forwards, it almost comes off of your head. So when you have this thing on warning, you're gonna have to stay really stiff and rigid. Like don't move much. <laughs> so you, moving side to side is okay. Do not bend down. If you tilt your head forwards, I've got this chin strap in really tight. Uh, if you tilt your head forwards, this thing really racks forward. Like right now, I cannot see at all, and this thing is just crushing my face and nose, so. Let's try to get this back up here. All right, I am going to try to get completely into this costume now and see what this looks like with uh, the coat and the hands on. Okay, as it turns out, I can't get this costume on by myself. These, these foam supports that are supposed to stay in place on your shoulders, they're honestly junk. For a uh, product that is $311, I believe, and $391 plus tax and shipping, I'm really disappointed in this. So I think, I, I, well, one, I'm gonna have to try and get someone to help me put this thing on so I can see if it's actually functional or not. But these things, when you try to put the coat over them, one, they just twist and bunch up because they're foam. There's no rigid, there's no, you know, rigid anything through them. There's one wire that I can feel and that's it. So 
there is nothing that actually holds it in place. And you can see this side is just all scrunched up from trying to get the coat over it. As soon as the coat starts to move these, it moves the entire head and then you can't see. And then the mask, since it doesn't really strap to your head at all that well, just falls right off, falls right off forward because the only thing holding it in place is this one chin strap. And no matter how tight you make this thing, if you tilt your head too far forwards, it's just gonna tip right off. So this is a huge disappointment here. I heard great things about these, but I hadn't seen any reviews of them online anywhere. Uh, I wanted to pick this up a year ago, actually, and I knew that we had a big storm coming last Halloween, so I didn't bother. But then this year, I wanted to go all out with, you know, COVID and how the entire year's been, but yeah, I'm, this is potentially going to get returned because you can't wear it, honestly. I don't know if, you know, there's something I'm doing wrong with how this is supposed to be put on, but so far, you know, I'm going to update you on it <laughs> as soon as I get somebody else around here who can help me put this thing on. But for right now, I'm going to say, eh, it looks great, but you can't see out of it, you can't really move in it, and you can't put the coat on. And considering both of your hands are taken up with these extenders, if this mask moves, you're screwed. You're going to have to let these go, you're going to have to readjust the mask, and then you're going to have to grab your hands again. And every time I started moving around in this thing, the mask would shift. So I don't know if I got a defect, because honestly, this doesn't even look like it's in that good condition. It looks like it was in water and was rotting or a little bit or something, but... But yeah, Horror Dome's Caretaker costume? Ugh, can't recommend it. So we'll see if I'm going to send this back. We'll see if I'm just doing something wrong, but... Well, anyways, I hope you thought this was informative. If you are planning on getting one of these costumes for this year, um, if you have any questions, you ask them in the comments down below. If you have any suggestions, uh, you'll also put them in the comments down below. See if there's anything better I can do to try and get this thing on. Because, you know, this would be a really great thing to have for either a home or a professional haunt. But it, it looks great. The hands look great. The mask looks great. It's just not functional. So, uh, anyways, yeah, I'm sorry for the kind of disappointing video today. But, you know, if you haven't already, remember to leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe and set up your notifications for more videos like this so you know when they're going to be popping up. And everybody, I hope you have a good day and a safe Halloween.